In this week's episode of Hunter Hunter, prepare to shed a tear or two as we say goodbye to the Chimera Ant King Meruem and Komugi. Yes, my friends, the bagpipes are playing loudly this week in this very sad episode of Hunter Hunter. It was also sort of the end of the entire Chimera Ant arc, and they're also sort of building up some things for what's going to happen at the end of this series. Who knows where the Hunter Hunter anime series is going to go now? Now that they're incredibly close to the manga series, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do. What I will say is they wrapped up everything really nicely this week, and there were a lot of really cool character scenes aside from the fact that everything was sort of dominated by the sadness of Meruem and Komugi. There was a great scene with Palm. There was also the return of Beans the Butler. What the hell is he? I have no idea, but I think he's awesome. In the beginning of this week's episode, the Chimera Ant King is dispersing his Nen like little fireflies to try and find Komugi and Palm. And when he finally does find her, this is one of the best scenes this week because it really shows you how far Palm has come as a character. Now, you need to realize she is now half Chimera Ant and that has certainly changed her quite a bit. But when you actually look at like where she started in the series as sort of like this psychopathic murderer and now she's just this like really calm, super confident chick who happens to be half Chimera Ant and that's giving her a lot of conflictions about the Chimera Ant King. She doesn't even want to see him kneel before her. It's a very powerful scene and it's handled very well and this is eventually where Meruem divulges why he wants to find Komugi because he's about to die from the poison and he wants to spend his last moments with her. But before we get to that, there's a little scene in the middle of the episode which brings in Beans the Butler! Yes, the little green dude! I don't know what's up with him. I think he's hilarious. I really wish they would explain what the hell he is, but that's beside the point. He releases this video to the public, which is Chairman Netro saying that he's going to be leaving the Hunter organization. He is stepping down, and they're going to have to elect a new chairman. This sounds like an interesting beginning of a new arc to me. Who's it gonna be? I have no idea. I think it'd be really awesome though. To me, the most important scenes from this week's episode is definitely at the end when you finally get to see the death of the Chimera Ant King and Komugi. And the scene is really, really well done because of how they pace it. It starts out just sort of normal with both of them playing a game and little by little they start to open up to each other a little bit more and even the king even tells Komugi that he's about to die. He has poison in his body and that it's actually contagious. And Komugi still decides to stay by the king's side the entire time. They actually recognize each other with names. And this is, of course, where the tears are probably going to start flowing. But honestly, for me, it was after the credit scene, which just tore me to pieces. Because they sort of give you this entire montage of all these scenes that Komugi and Meruem had together while they're going through the credits. And at the end of the episode, everything is completely pitch black for the most part. And they're following the little bits of the Chimera Ant King's Nen as it's floating around the underground area, kind of trying to uh, get to both Meruem and Komugi. And you can tell that they're still playing the game, but little by little, the uh, king is starting to fade away. After every single move, he's always asking Komugi, are you there? Are you there with me? Eventually, when the final bit of Nen actually reaches Meruem and Komugi, it sort of explodes in a giant flash and you can see that they both sort of die in each other's arms, and it's done in an art style that looks very nice and hand-drawn, probably ripped directly from the manga, but I love how it opened up, how everything was dark and then immediately was illuminated. You know, Meruem, illuminate, everything. You know, it's, it's symbolism, people! It's anime! They love this shit. So, what's the rundown on this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter? Definitely one of the best episodes of the series, and one of the best endings of any arc that I think I've ever seen. You know, you know, we could technically say this is not the end of the Chimera Ant arc because if you look at the preview for next week, there's definitely a few other Chimera Ants hanging out. If there's one thing I need to say about it is I couldn't predict any of it. I did not see any of this coming because when you really look at it, like all of the guards and even the king himself were all sort of like practically done in in ways that I just, I didn't imagine. Most of them were poisoned to death. And then of course you have Neferpito who was just destroyed by Gon. And speaking of Gon and Killua, like, they don't even really make an appearance this week, which is something of a disappointment, because they are, you know, the main characters of the series, but this is really all about the Chimera, Ant King, and Komugi, and uh, they focused on that this week a lot, and it worked. I think it really worked, especially at the end after the credits. I loved that scene, even though I guess you could call it lazy if you want, because most of the time it's just all in black and there's just little flashes of animation and little bits of light. But I just think it really served its purpose at the end of the episode. They also didn't really waste any time, uh, you know, aside from maybe the ending credits, which was just like a montage. 
but the fact that they skipped the intro and went right ahead to making everything work was great. Uh, all the other characters worked this week, too. Like, Palm, loved her scene at the beginning. I liked seeing Beans the butler. Uh, and, of course, it's all about the King and Komugi this week. Uh, all the animation was really good. All of the artwork was definitely on point this week. Everything just looked really clean and really awesome. And there was a lot of really great use of expression. There were a lot of moments this week where the Chimera Ant King, when he was having his final moments with Komugi, his facial expressions just looked way more just human. And I don't know how to describe that in any other way, because a lot of the other times... He just looks really creepy and monstrous, but there were just moments towards the end when you could tell that he was finally just like accepting who he was, accepting his death, and just letting it go. And uh, a lot of that was done with great voice acting as well. So everything was just really great this week. Just fantastic episode, you know. Uh, for people who are just wanting to see a big action fest, this is not that type of episode. For people who wanted to see development from the main characters of the series, it's not that type of episode either. This is the end of this arc. And it was handled really, really well. My only disappointment is there's a possibility that the anime series is going to have to go on hiatus for a while. I don't know if they're going to, you know, I don't know anything about the Hunter x Hunter manga. You know, I haven't even read a single chapter of the Hunter x Hunter manga. I've only watched the anime version. But after seeing all this and how well done it was and how unexpected and different it is from all the other different shonen series... I have to start reading the manga when they finally do catch up to it. And, uh, you know, my only hope is that maybe the series will get more popular. Maybe a company will pick it up here in the States. I think Funimation needs to get the license on the series, like, immediately. I, I guarantee they could release this whole thing, especially because right now it's at 135 episodes. I'm sure it could go easily to maybe another 145 if they do the next part of the manga i'm not really sure maybe you guys could tell me your theories or your comments below about how that might work because i'm not really sure how close we are to the manga but everybody i've talked to has said we're like literally only like maybe 10 15 episodes away and uh you know i want to see some of the other characters again you know it's been a long time since we've seen like liario and kurapika freaking Phantom Troop, I want to see what Hisoka is up to. If there was one thing that I wanted to see in this arc, it would just to be like to randomly see Hisoka just show up in the middle of this battle because he was always touted as one of like the strongest characters of the series. But after seeing what Meruem was doing when he was fighting against Netero and everything, like there's no way he'd even stand a chance. But still, I would have just loved to see that what if battle. Uh, things have definitely gone to the next level in Hunter x Hunter, and also, what's gonna happen to Gon? He's still being carried away by Killua, he's definitely messed up after exhausting all of his power, and, uh, you know, he still has his bigger adventure going on, he still needs to find his father. There's just so many things going on, uh, in my mind after seeing this week's episode, but it's really made me appreciate the entire Chimera Ant arc, which was definitely one of the best, it was <laughs> definitely the longest arc, uh, but I think it worked, and like I said, my favorite thing about it is I couldn't predict anything. This wasn't like, you know, Naruto or Dragon Ball Z or One Piece, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna call that, like, 50 chapters ahead. No, th every single time something happened, I was always caught by surprise, and, uh, just, that's great work. Great episode right here, guys. God, just so fantastic. I loved it. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I have no complaints with it. It was just... Fantastic on all ends. Check it out, guys. I'm just rambling on. It's a great episode. Watch it. Thank you guys for watching my review. Before you leave today, make sure and tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. Did you have any favorite sad moments? Did this episode make you cry? What do you want to see from the rest of the Hunter x Hunter anime series? Remember, guys, before you leave, casually please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up. It's really, really easy to do, and it helps out our videos tremendously. But the best way to help us out, as always, is to simply watch our videos and subscribe to the channel. I will make it really easy for you guys. There's a little button right up top. You'll probably see it. Also, speaking of easy-to-press links, you will see links to both of our Facebook and Twitter accounts in the description box below. You can check us out there. We put up a lot of cool articles and funny pictures and all that crazy, snappy internet meme jazz. Also, guys, remember, before you leave, you can also donate directly to the channel if you would like. So, guys, I will see you next time. Super Kami Guru 9000 out.